Today, I'm gonna to share with you a hack that will allow you to make real orgeat in under a minute, and it will be better than anything you can buy and just as good as any homemade version out there. The recipe is simple and only uses rose water, orange flower water, sugar, and real blanched almonds. The best part is you can easily increase or decrease the amount of almonds and almond flavor. Several months ago, I made an orgeat video sharing my favorite recipe and comparing it to store-bought versions. But making your own can be a pain and buying it can sometimes be expensive and some of them just aren't that good. I even made a version using store-bought almond milk and I stand behind my opinion that store-bought almond milk does not make good orgeat, no matter the brand. Most store-bought almond milk has between two to 10 almonds per cup of almond milk and a bunch of stabilizers, thickeners, and gums. While the homemade version I shared uses one cup of almonds per cup of water, and that's over 100 almonds or 10 to 50 times more almonds than any store-bought almond milk. The hack today is less of a hack and more of a secret ingredient. Instead of working with raw almonds, we're gonna use this, Joy Almond Milk Concentrate. After I made my last Orjat video and was researching almond milks, this was served to me in an ad. This is not a sponsored thing, this is not paid for, I bought this myself. They say this one jar can make up to seven quarts of almond milk, and it comes in at $20. There's only one ingredient, which is blanched almonds. If you have a blender, you can make your own orgeat in 60 seconds, but you also don't need a blender. You can use a whisk, a fork, a spoon, or anything else that can mix the almond milk paste into your orgeat. So let's make this official right now and start the clock. To your blender, add in one cup of water, two cups of sugar, three tablespoons, the almond milk concentrate, but you can increase or decrease this. I've made it with six tablespoons. Quarter teaspoon of rose water. Quarter teaspoon of orange flower water. then blend it on hot. And that's it, orjat in about a minute. By blending this, I found that you don't even need to add heat to dissolve the sugar into the orgeat. And if you like the flavor of almond extract in your orgeat, you can add in a quarter of a teaspoon, more or less, it's up to you. It's the easiest orgeat you can make and one of the cheapest. And it is better than some of the fancier $20 bottles that you can find online. The only downside to this is the texture. It's similar to homemade versions and a touch chewy, but if you want something that is a little cleaner and a little more clarified, you can blend the water and almond milk concentrate first, then strain it through a coffee filter and then add the sugar. If you do that, you'll end up with something that looks like this. And this has a little bit of a weaker almond flavor than this one. So for this version, I added in a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. This version here, the filtered version with a quarter teaspoon of almond extract, this is now my go-to orgeat. Unless a recipe specifies for a specific brand, I'm gonna use this one. It's that easy. There's a link in the description to buy this product. It's an affiliate link, so I may even earn a commission from it. But uh, before we're done here, let's do a little taste test. You get the almonds, you get the floral notes from the rose water and the orange blossom water, and then little subtle hints of that almond extract in the background. There's a specific brand of Orjat that tends to be a lot of uh, people's favorites, especially people really into Mai Tais. Um, it's called for a lot 
some bar books. It's uh, a recipe developed for a uh, tiki icon. I think this tastes just like it. This one's a little thinner, but the taste, the flavor of it, it's almost identical.